Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I'm so excited because this is going to be my first fall themed video. Um, I've been racking my brain what I can do for fall because I feel like I did all of the um, normal or usual fall videos last fall. Um, and so I kind of wanted to do it differently. Um, so today is going to be kind of like a little afternoon vlog type of thing. I'm going to bake something. I'm not sure what, but it's going to be something folly. Um, maybe even it'll be bread. I'm not sure. I just want to bake something cozy and we're going to do a little bit of decorating for fall. I'm not planning to do a lot, just kind of what I have on hand. And then what else? Oh yes, I want to make a drink recipe to share with you as well. So I'm not exactly sure what that will be. Maybe it will be a latte. Maybe it'll be an ice drink. We'll have to see what I'm feeling when that time comes. But I think what I'm going to do is start out with baking. That way we can decorate with the smell of something baking in the house. And I just, yeah, it'll just make it really cozy and get me in the fall mood. I have to be honest, I've not really been into the idea of fall. I just did not want summer to end. But it's coming anyways, no matter how much I don't want it to. Um, so we're just gonna embrace it and we're gonna get all the cozy vibes going in this house. It's been a couple weeks since I last filmed and I think the last video Harper was really pregnant um, but she had her babies about two weeks ago which was so so exciting. Everything went super well. She had six puppies and they're all doing so well and they're all okay they're all boys, which is, I think is hilarious. There's six boys. <laughs> um, and they're just so cute. Um, all their eyes are officially open as of yesterday. And yeah, I have to show you them. She is just such a good mom, so responsible, and she's just doing so good. Like all of them are just thriving. And so I'm gonna go show you them. Okay, so I have them in a box right here just by the doorway because I think she likes to be included in everything. And these babies have started crawling, so I don't like when they crawl out of that thing. But are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I can't wait till they're old enough to play with. It's been very hard for me to not just be in here and <laughs> constantly cuddle them. Just look at how cute. <laughs> um, she's always very concerned when I'm touching or taking her puppies. So we love a good protective mother. So I decided to make a loaf like this. It's called an apple cinnamon loaf cake. It looks so delicious. It has like little apple pieces and then it has like a cream cheesy frosting over top. So I'm gonna mix that together and gonna start baking it and then we'll start decorating. <laughs> been out. Turns out there's even less than I thought there was, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna work with what we got. Um, it's not really in the budget 
for me to just be always going and buying new decor every season. Um, and that is okay. Um, so here's your reminder. You don't have to have your house completely. I mean, look at my carpet. It's orange. Not everything matches in my house. And <laughs> that's just okay. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you what I have. Um, so I have this green pumpkin that I really love. I um, have like different accents in my house that are green. I've got a couple signs that I purchased, I don't know, probably two years ago from Michael's. Um, and these work great on my gallery wall. Here's a few signs that I've DIY'd. This one says, hello fall. Very light green. And that works great in my tray on the table. Hey pumpkin. <laughs> and pumpkin spice season. A cute little silver pumpkin that oh looks like it's from dollarama so that's kind of cool um and then i have a bunch of fabric pumpkins that i made i made this one these two years ago i have a bunch that are checkered <laughs> they're all different sizes they're so cute i should maybe um make a video of how to diy these they are so so simple i made a couple of these which they don't really look that much like pumpkins but I think they're still adorable and it just is a cute extra texture to um, add to the decor and then I have a few from one of my friends she made them for me and they are just adorable she crochets these I got a couple different sizes um, I'll actually leave her Instagram in the description if you want to go check that out or order some from her but I think they're so cute and like cinnamon stick stems. I also have some of these that I'm thinking might be kind of fun to do something with like for a DIY um potentially spray painting them so yeah maybe one of my next videos will be a fall decor DIY type of video um if that's something you'd be interested in let me know in the comments but anyways we're gonna get decorating. <laughs> This little label maker that I got off Amazon the other day, I'm gonna make a little label for this syrup. This is called pumpkin pie syrup from the Torani syrups, which I will link those syrups down below. <laughs> I use them for all of my lattes and iced coffees and yeah, they're really the best. So cute. I love this and then it just has like a little, come on, let's focus on this. It has like a little tab thingy that you can just peel it right off and stick it on to what you were, what you want to label. Decorated this guy 
finished baking. It looks so yummy and smells so good. Um, but now we're gonna frost it before we make our drinks so that we can enjoy it together. drink or whatever I feel like this is an amazing like transition drink um, and I'm feeling like a warm latte this afternoon to enjoy with a, a slice of this loaf um, so we're gonna make a chai latte I have this adorable little set here um, it's like a little tea kettle with um, just the cutest mug for a latte so yeah this is my go-to for lattes i think it's just adorable um and yeah it's perfect for brewing tea in i actually thrifted it for like i believe five dollars for the set so i was pretty pumped about that i'm gonna use some vanilla syrup okay see if i can land it in the mug I did squirt it beside a little bit. We're gonna put one tea bag in here and wait till my water is boiled so we can steep the tea. Now that I have my water boiling, I'm going to pour it over top and we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes. For the milk, we're going to use half milk. So a little bit of milk and half cream. I love how this just makes it so much creamier if you use a little bit of cream in it. Okay. Now, as always, we have to do a little taste test. I cut myself a slice of this and I'm going to enjoy it with my latte. <laughs> I am going to take a little bite. It has a cream cheesy frosting on it. Um, it did turn out a little lumpy, which I was kind of disappointed about. I wanted it to be really smooth, but I think I should have just whipped it up better. I just used my KitchenAid and um, yeah, I don't think it whipped, did a good enough job of whipping it up. So um, let's try this. What in the world? That is so good. I'm not being dramatic at all. It's literally that good. <laughs> I will most definitely be leaving the recipe for this in the description below. Um, and you really need to go make it right now. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> um, anyways, I think that's all for today's video. It might end up being a little shorter of a video, but I just wanted it to be a fun, cozy type of a vlog with some fall vibes <laughs> um but yeah i think i'm gonna put some gilmore girls on while i get some other work done and i'll probably edit this video for the rest of the day so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i cannot wait to see you next time